sorry to wake you, Dinah. I know I'm not supposed to be back from the movie yet. And I wouldn't be, except that when Kim and I got to the theater, the movie was already half over. Kim was so mad. She said it was my fault for getting the showtime wrong. I said I couldn't have gotten it wrong. The theater must have changed the time. Anyway, we got into an argument, and our fun day at the movies turned into a crabby car ride home again. Well, I may have missed the movie, but there are other places I can go to have fun. Outrageous. No, I think it's hot. Outrageous has, uh, let's see, mm -hmm. ten letters. Oh, I'm not talking about bunny crossword puzzles. I'm talking about the letters to the editor. Oh, oh, please. Dear editor, I think the Queen's new tax on tennis balls is terrible. <laughs> Dear editor, the Queen's new shopping cart license plate tax is unfair. Why? <laughs> Dear editor, the Queen's new toaster tax is totally trivial. Gee, Your Majesty, it sounds like you have a lot of unhappy subjects out there. Not a lot, just one. The letters are all from someone named Anonymous. Uh, Your Majesty, Anonymous isn't a name. <laughs> Anonymous means they're not saying what their name is. Or names are. Well, we'll see about that. I'm calling the editors of this newspaper to get the true story. The whole scoop, the real lowdown, and the straight skinny. Wonderland B, how may we help you? This is the Queen. I want the name of the anonymous chucklehead who's been writing all the letters to the editor. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but we cannot reveal that information. After all, if we told you who the anonymous person is, or persons are, then it wouldn't be anonymous anymore. And that could be very confusing to our readers. Oh, but how am I supposed to get crabby at someone if I don't even know who he is? Gee, Your Majesty, maybe instead of worrying about who wrote the letters, you could figure out why they wrote them. Yes, yes. After all, you have been making up a lot of new taxes lately. Perhaps you should uh, <laughs> reconsider. Reconsider? You mean think again and maybe change my mind? <laughs> when pigs have wings! If I reconsider, I might have to admit I'm wrong. And that is not an option. Oh, what was I thinking? Oh, this is hopeless. I said it before and I'll say it again. How rough! Oh, harumph! Anonymous letters written to the bee. Harumph! They have names. Let me see. The whole situation has been down in the dumps. To those letter writers, I say, harumph! Harumph! Their new taxes, that's the way it goes. If they write letters, let their names show. Consider? Ridiculous. Change my mind? 
admit I'm wrong? Get serious! There's a first time for everything. In fact, why not start by admitting you were wrong about the new catnip tax? You know, that sounds suspiciously like a complaint. You wouldn't be the anonymous letter writer I've been looking for, would you? Me? I don't even own a typewriter. Oh, well, you could have written the letters by hand. But I don't have hands, I have paws. Mm, okay, you're off the hook for now, but I'll be keeping my eye on you. Haha, <laughs> not if I can help it. Oh. You know, your being invisible might come in handy for me. I don't suppose you could find out which of my subjects are the anonymous complainers. But it's dishonest to spy on people. So what's your point? Look, if you want to find out who's complaining about your taxes, why don't you just ask around? Oh, please. Nobody would dare complain to my face. <laughs> Unless they didn't recognize it. You mean wear disguise? Go undercover dressed as somebody else? Yeah. Hmm. It just might work. Wait. Why are you suddenly being so helpful? I'm not. I just think it would be funny to see you in a goofy costume. <laughs> he may think it's funny, but I'm the one who's going to have the last laugh. <laughs> Mr. Hatter, Mr. Hare, Dormouse. Hi, Alice. Aren't you having tea today? <laughs> tea? You must think I'm made of money. Actually, I thought hatters were made of snips and snails and puppy dog tails. The point is, we can't afford to have tea because of the Queen's new tea tax. Tea tax? You mean I have to pay money just to have a cup of tea? That's right. That's silly. That's true. However, tea is taxed at the rate of one woolbuck per cup. Plus, 25 cents each for adding cream, sugar, or honey. That's not fair. You shouldn't have to pay to have tea with your crumpets. No, there's a crumpet tax, too. As well as a donut tax. A muffin tax. A biscuit. A bagel. And bun tax. Even a cheese tax. It's, it's a, a very taxing situation. It's a taxing situation. It's a taxing situation. On work, there's a tax on play. There's even a tax on certain things that you say. She's taxing left, she's taxing right, she's even taxing day and night. There's a tax on carrots, there's a tax on tea. I believe there's a tax on you and me. She's taxing this, she's taxing that, she's even taxed my handsome hat. Something not quite right. Letters. Maybe you did, and maybe you didn't. Who wants to know? I do, you chuck. Uh, I mean, just little old me. And you are? Who am I? Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, oh, that's easy. Uh, my name is uh, Lorraine. Yes, that's it. Lorraine. Nice to meet you, Miss Lorraine. Oh, wait. Is Lorraine your first or last name? Oh, it's my first name. My last name is, uh, Keish. Lorraine Keish. I like it. <laughs> For some reason, it reminds me of a delicious mixture of eggs and cheese cooked to just the right texture in a pastry shell, but there you go. <laughs> anyway, I'm the Mad Hatter, and this is the March Hare, Hello. and this is Alice. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure you can tell I'm new to Wonderland. It seems like a great place, except for all the taxes. It must really make you crabby. Oh, oh yeah, so crabby. Oh, uh, crabby enough to want to do something? Oh, oh yeah, oh, absolutely. Uh, crabby <laughs> enough to write anonymous letters to the newspaper? Oh, come on. Uh, this 
Prissy Hatter and Hare know everything that goes on in Wonderland. In fact, I hear there's a secret group who oppose the Queen. You know, an underground. Is it true? Why? I really shouldn't tell you this, but you've got an honest face. Yeah. So here's the deal. There is no underground, but there is an overground. An overground? Oh, why do you call it that? B because we meet upstairs. In fact, come by in one hour and you'll hear all about those anonymous letters. <laughs> Thanks. I think I'll do that. I don't know about this hair. Are you sure we can trust her? Oh, come on. I mean, it's not as if the Queen has cleverly disguised herself so she can infiltrate our group and discover who has been writing the anonymous letters. I guess that would be pretty far-fetched. Welcome aboard, Lorraine. Thank you. So is this your whole group? No, no, no. We're still waiting for our fearless leader. And let me tell you, he is tough, he's smart, he's brave. <laughs> He's also a little clumsy, but we try to overlook that. <laughs> He's your fearless leader? Uh, don't let the cute fuzzy face fool you. This bunny's as tough as nails. Rabbit, this is Lorraine Keish. She's new to Wonderland. Oh, uh, uh, he hello. Bah, hello. Bah, hello. Bah, hello. <laughs> so then I take it you've been told about the silly taxis the Queen is forcing us to uh, pay. I wouldn't uh, call them silly exactly. Good point, Lorraine. Those taxes aren't just silly. I'd say they're unnecessary, unreasonable, and unfair. You better tell the truth. However, I feel I must report that the Queen does not wish to reconsider making us pay the taxes. Then I say we keep writing these anonymous letters. That's so right. I do it get thunder than that. And I say we all tell the Queen what we think to her face. Uh... <laughs> Uh, we appreciate your enthusiasm, Lorraine, but, as the Queen would say, that's a really chuckle-headed idea. <laughs> How dare you? I mean, why? You don't know the Queen. I mean, that woman has a temper. <laughs> oh, oh, well, what about you, Rabbit? You could say something to her. After all, you claim to be the fearless leader. Well, <laughs> I may be fearless. But I'm not stupid. <laughs> so, you all disagree with the Queen, but none of you has nerve enough to tell her? That's about the size of it, yep. Maybe Lorraine is right. Maybe we've been anonymous too long. Maybe we should have the courage to say what we believe. Maybe we should march up to the Queen and give her a piece of our mind. Excuse me, ma'am. I hate to ask you to move, but that bench is my favorite place for a cat nap. Tough tootsies. I was here first. Wait. I'd recognize that crabby voice anywhere. Wow, your majesty. That's a great disguise. So, have you found out who's been writing the anonymous letters? Oh, I found out. But they didn't admit it to me. They admitted it to Lorraine Keish. Hmm? My disguise. Uh, why didn't you just yell, aha, or gotcha, then reveal your true identity? Because then they'd know I was spying on them. I don't mind being sneaky, I just don't want to get caught at it. Besides, I went through a lot of trouble to put together this disguise, and I don't want to blow my cover the first time I use it. Oh, I need them to willingly admit who they are to the Queen. That way, they won't be anonymous anymore, and I won't have to put up with any more anonymous letters. But they're probably afraid to disagree with you, uh, the Queen in person. That's because their fearless leader is a big chicken. But maybe it's time they had a new leader. Someone who's smart. Someone who's tough. Someone who looks great in a tailored jacket, a stylish hat, and a smashing pair of pumps. Oh! <gasps> You mean? That's right. Lorraine Keish, the one person in Wonderland who's not afraid of the Queen. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, hi, Lorraine. Want to help us write some anonymous letters? No. In fact, I say 
We can't afford to be anonymous anymore. Oh, no. You mean the queen put a tax on that, too? No. I mean that we have to stand up for what we believe. I say we go see the queen right now. Oh, sorry, we can't. It's our fearless leader's nappy time. Then I say it's time for a new fearless leader. Me. Look, nothing against Rabbit, but what's the point of having a fearless leader who's not fearless? I promise to tell the Queen what I really think. You're actually willing to face the Queen? If I couldn't face the Queen, then I wouldn't be able to look myself in the mirror. And I mean that literally. She's got my vote. I'm tired of being an Anana Mouse. I agree. If Lorraine is that brave, then I'll stand behind her. A safe distance behind her, of course. But behind her all the way. We'll be bringing up the rear as she leads the way To talk to the queen about the taxes that we pay She's our new business leader, that's why we say We're behind her all the way We'll be bringing up the rear As she leads the way, oh yeah To talk to the queen about the taxes that day. Uh -huh. She's our new fearless leader, and that is why we say, Whoa, we're with her 100%. We're behind her all the way. Whoa, yeah. She's our new fearless leader, and that is why we say, Well, well, we're with her. stick together. Now tell me why you dislike the Queen's taxes so I can really let her have it. Well, she's taxed so many things we can't afford to have fun anymore. <laughs> How true that is. Uh, but what the Queen doesn't realize is the taxes are hurting her. Hurting her? How? Well, take the croquet tax. Because of it, only the Queen can afford to play croquet. Except she won't be able to because she can't play the game by herself. Amen. Oh, croquet is my favorite. I mean, her favorite game. And because of the new tea tax, I can't afford to invite the queen to my tea parties ever again. And because of the cheese tax, I can't afford to make the queen my special cheesecake. Nothing for her. Gee, I never... I mean, the queen probably never thought of it like that. She will, once you tell her. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Let's go! Actually, maybe I should go alone. After all, I'd hate for the Queen to be angry with all of us. No can do. After all, you said it best, Lorraine. We've got to stick together. Yes, stick together. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, but, but, but Alice and Rabbit aren't here. We can't stick together without them. Uh, then we'll find them, Miss Quiche. We'll meet you in half an hour at the palace gates. Come on, guys. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. 38... 39! Uh, hello, madam. I'll be with you in just a moment. 40! 40, 41! There! Sorry to keep you waiting, but I have to pinch my pennies these days. The Queen's mushroom tax, you know. I know. Oh, oh. allow me to introduce myself. The name's Quiche. Lorraine Quiche. I've come because I hear you give advice. Yes, and my advice is free. At least until the Queen figures out how to tax that, too. <gasps> Can we not talk about the Queen? I'm the one with the problem. Sorry. How oh, may I help you? Oh. Okay, here it is. Uh, what do you do when you think you disagree with someone, but then you realize that you don't? And in fact, you were the one who was wrong to begin with. But you don't want to admit it because you've never admitted you were wrong before. And the very idea gives you the heebie-jeebies. Uh, perhaps this story will be of some help. This is a tale of a bat and a bird who lived in a tall tree. The bird had her nest in the high branches. And the bat lived in the hollow trunk. But they were not friends. The bat complained that the bird kept him awake all day. 
and the bird complained that the bat kept her awake all night. Finally, the neighbors complained about all their complaining. So the bird and bat each decided to do something. The bat bought sunglasses to make the day look dark so he could stay awake with the bird. And the bird bought a light so she could see at night and stay awake with the bat. But they had simply switched places. Things were no better than before. Then, as they were about to complain again, the bat and the bird realized something. At least each of them was thinking of the other one first. So they decided on a new plan. One week, they both would stay up all night. And the next week, they both would stay up all day. Not only did they each finally get some sleep, but from then on, the bat and the bird were best buddies. So you see, friends don't simply think of themselves. And sometimes that means admitting when they make mistakes. But if I admit I made a mistake, I'll look silly. And if I look silly, no one will want to be friends with me. On the contrary, Lorraine. If you can admit when you're wrong, people will admire you all the more. Hmm. Well, it sounds bogus to me, but I'll think about it. Thanks for the story. I can't quite put my fingers on it, but Lorraine reminds me of someone. Someone... Other than Lorraine. <laughs> Listen, I know you're all anxious to talk to the Queen. Well, I'll say, we've all got lists of complaints as long as our arms. No more ping pong tax. Yeah, yeah. Down with carrot tax. Don't forget to buy a quart of milk and some more paper towels. <laughs> Sorry, wrong list. Oh. Well, before you present your list to the Queen, I ask that you let me, your fearless leader, talk to her alone. But I thought we were all in this together. Oh, yeah, I thought we were all in this together. We are, but it's my duty as your leader to go first. Oh, I'll call you if I need you. Wow, there goes the bravest woman in Wonderland. Your Majesty, the name's Quiche, Lorraine Quiche. I'm new to Wonderland, but I think I speak for all your subjects when I say your taxes are unfair. What? How dare you speak to me like that? And by the way, those pumps you're wearing are very stylish. Thanks, but just because we agree on fashion footwear doesn't mean we agree about your silly taxes. Hear that? Ooh, Lorraine is one tough cookie. I can just imagine the look on Her Majesty's face. Listen, you may be the queen, but I'm not afraid of you. Well, you should be. Well, I'm not, so there. Ah, I'd like to hear the queen argue with that. <laughs> Do you really expect me to admit I was wrong to make everyone pay all these new taxes? If you're as sensible, kind, and intelligent as you look, that's exactly what you'll do. Well, you've talked me into it, Lorraine. I was completely wrong. Lorraine? Your Majesty? Um, I think you're both right. Do you know what this means? Yes. That the Queen has opted for a really spiffy new hairstyle. No, it means she's been spying on us. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 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 spying is such an ugly word. I prefer to think of it as uh, uh, spending quality time with my subjects in secret. 
Okay, uh, uh, I was fine. So sue me. Uh, the important thing is, I'm getting rid of the taxes. Uh, after reconsidering, I realized I was wrong. You mean it? No more tea tax? Or uh, uh, hockey puck tax? Or finger painting tax? Or bowling pin tax? That's right. After all, what kind of queen would I be if I couldn't admit it when I'd make an eatsy beatsy tiny teeny itty bitty incredibly unfair goof up? <laughs> the point is, with the taxes gone, everyone can afford to be friends. We can afford to be friends. Spend more time together. Enjoy these dividends. And we won't have Just around the bend We'll do those things we like to do Without having to argue Which can be very taxing This way is much more relaxing We can sing and dance the day away We can do this every day Without that excess tax We'll drink more tea and eat more snacks We can afford better check that movie time again. Uh-oh. Kim was right. I accidentally read the schedule for the movie playing next door to the one we wanted to see. Hmm. I guess I should call Kim and admit it was my fault we were late today. And if she wants to try to go again tomorrow, I think I'll suggest we check the movie schedule together. <laughs>